Um, the next presentation I will be giving on behalf of the um, maintainers of the, the wallet framework.net. Um, the wallet framework.net is um, one of the projects that are right now in the process of uh, uh, being proposed to the TAC for adoption. And it actually started as an ARIES project on the ARIES framework.net and is already being used in productive implementation of wallets in the wild. And the team and the contributors decided to um, enhance it and uh, bring it to Open Wallet Foundation and on that way also change the name to Wallet Framework to also um, indicate that this is the focus of, of, the, of the work being done uh, in the future. So the maintainers, the main maintainers are Sebastian Bickele uh, from the Lissi team and Christopher Hempel from, from Esatos. So the most, as one of the most notable features, and I just, I just told Howard, I, I was a bit, bit um, surprised to see that almost all of the projects we have seen so far are native code, right? So we've got native code uh, for, for Android or backend systems, Kotlin or Java, and we've got Swift code for iOS. We have a low-code platform. That is cross-platform. And this one here uh, is also cross-platform as the .NET framework um, allows people to build applications that run on different platforms. So th there's quite a mix of, mix of options, and I, I really like that, because it allows the developers to pick and choose what serves their needs the best. So the framework already supports Ditcom V1 and Enocrats. And going forward, um, the team and the companies behind the team are interested to align it with the most, uh, mostly with the open, uh, with the European Digital Identity Wallet Initiative or EIDOS 2. Um, I mean, those companies operate out of Germany in, in, in the European Union, so that's of utmost uh, in importance to them. So what they are doing right now is uh, they're implementing um, Open ID for verifiable credentials. Uh, with a focus on what's called the High Assurance Interoperability Profile. So this is a profile of OpenID uh, for verifiable credentials that is especially uh, designed to fulfill the requirements of regulators um, in the IDAS world, but other in other uh, jurisdictions. And the project will not only be a, um, a library for, that implements um, the protocol, the maintainers also plan to implement uh, another credential format. Right now, uh, Enocrats are supported, as in almost all of the ARIES projects. Um, right now, they are also implementing SDJOT VC. The pro project proposal is already has already been submitted. Um, as far as I'm informed, um, this project shall be discussed in the meeting after the next TAC meeting. Perhaps we, we slightly adjust the schedule to, to um, get it adopted faster because we have a lot of inbound contributions. Yeah, that's it. So it's .NET, it's there, it's being worked on, and they are looking for additional contributors uh, that are interested in, in, in that kind of technology. Is there any question around that? Drummond? Yes, Christopher Hempel. Okay. So those two companies, in my perception, are the main, the main maintainers or the maintainers of the project. Yeah. And they want to really use that for production systems. So especially as Saltos wants to roll it out in their special uh, kind of projects in the construction industry, for example. So it's it's really it's already battle proven, and um, the Lissi team and also Saltos want to use that really for production in, in, in the short term.